And yeah, and he just said that well done to Chester Zoo, and it's been spotted, and he's. Uh, it's just nice. The isn't day it? of the not dead fish. There you go. Could say that. 19 minutes past six. Now making the transition from being a successful actor to a care worker. It's not a well worn career path, but Daniel Peacock has had good reason to make a career change. Daniel, who's had parts in Only Fools and Horses in the Bill, watched his dad Trevor move to a residential home after developing Alzheimer's. Trevor was also an actor, best known for the Vicar of Dibley. He died last year. Daniel has since been nominated for a care award. Graham Satchel has more. Good afternoon, Hastings Court. This is Lifestyles Dan, saying that any moment now we'll be embarking upon round three of the Brenda Wicked Challenge Cup. This is the very lovely Julia, one of our, one of our kitchen staff. <laughs> Dan Peacock, Activities Coordinator at Hastings Court Care Home. Ooh, ah. Hello, Daniel. He is a ball of energy, always on the move. Raj, this is Dan and Hola. saying, see you soon. I pour lots and lots of wine and beer. You may recognise the face. Dan was an actor. He's been in everything from Porridge to Quadrophenia to Only Fools and Horses. I ain't never been to Rampton. Who started in rumours about me being in Rampton? Right, Vic, take it easy. Well, I ain't never been to Rampton! <laughs> I've been to Baltimore once or twice, but... <laughs> In my acting career, basically, I play two sorts of parts. One is the hard man, and the other one is idiot. I love you, Master. For the trees! And I've never really been a hard man. I've always been a bit of an idiot, but that being said, here at Hastings Court, it's just me. Okay, here we go. Okay, guys, this is it. Round three. It's the big one. Dan is in charge of activities at the home. Which part of the human body has the thinnest skin? Remember no conferring? Everyone loving each other? No, no arguing? There is a playfulness, affection and real joy in the room. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Pauline! So why did a successful actor, writer, director become a carer? One of the reasons for me being actually genuinely enthusiastic about changing career streams, if you will, was my father, Trevor. Uh, he uh, passed away a year or so ago, a year and a half ago, with Alzheimer's. Hello, Hello Jim, come on in. Uh, yeah. What can I do for you this merry day? There's something I'd like to try out on you. Dan is the son of another famous actor, Trevor Peacock. I never was close to him in the last few years. Obviously he had the disease, this terrible, terrible disease, but I wanted to be closer to him and I regret not that the being as close as I, I should have been. So I think maybe it started with a little bit of guilt trying to make it up to Dad why I came here. Should we call it bracing, Rona? As well as group activities, Dan has one-to-one -one sessions with residents, just talking and listening. If I hear Dan's voice in the morning. I'm always glad that I think, well, it'll be a good day today. A while back I heard this line, which is that all humans want to feel safe, they want to feel loved, and they want to feel heard. I like it when we go in and we just gossip, because we didn't used to do that. Are you saying that, are you accusing me of being an old gossiper? Well, no, we're both <laughs> chat. As I say, chat, not gossip. <laughs> And I see it as my, my duty to make sure that every resident is heard. I think we've just learnt how to live in a better way. And I think that Dan being here has helped a lot with that. I mean, I'm a bit of a, uh, a history buff in, 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 regarding World War II in the 60s, things like that. And uh, obviously I was very, very young in the 60s and I certainly wasn't there when... World War II was taking place, but you meet people who were there. They were actually there. They were there on D-Day. We had an SAS guy, one of the first SAS guys staying here. And they're telling me, I'm not watching it on the screen. This isn't you know, a Steven Spielberg film. There's the guy who was there who did it. This is a film made by the residents, disgusted at the effects of climate change. Dan is using his experience as an actor and writer to make short films with the residents. I can't help it. See, it breaks your heart, no? Mm. I used to earn quite a lot of money for doing 
not very much. And now I owe not very much for doing lots and lots and lots. Well played, Sunflower. It's an absolute privilege to be honest with you, to be, to be working in care. And I certainly like myself for doing it. I've become a better person, a happier person. Question number four. Who scored? A pretty girl is like a melody. Ladies and gentlemen, Barbara Wood. Dan is nominated tonight at the National Care Awards for Best Activities Coordinator. Whether he wins or not, he says becoming a carer has changed his life. Graham Satchel, BBC News. Do you know, when someone says, I like myself for doing this, you can see how much it means. It's absolutely delightful. Just, you just kind of just want to go and watch him more doing his thing and the, me, just chatting with people. That very simple thing is that the lady went and, said, and she said, I like it best we just come in and have a bit of a gossip. Yeah. Uh, it was so delightful. The care workers around the country, this is what they're doing. Absolutely. This is how they Absolutely. Uh, and I, th I think there's, that award ceremony is this evening. So yeah. anyone who's been nominated for those negatives, anyone who's doing that work today, you know, watching us this morning, uh, it is fantastic the work that everyone has done. Much time, appreciated. Time now is 6.25. OK, so let's talk football and uh, disappointment. I think that's a mild way of putting it for England and Wales fans.